Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We talk stocks, financial markets, uh, personal finance, business and money on this vlog. And I just bought this new camera and this looks very crisp. So you will enjoy more quality in all my uh, daily vlogs. Um, uh, let's go. Today we are talking about the earnings of Apple and if you are coming back to this channel thank you very much and make sure you smash that like button this will help me to grow in the YouTube algorithm and push this channel forward so you can have more of vlogs about money, business and stocks so today we will uh, analyze the earnings of Apple that they called Q3. You might wonder why it's Q3 as we are in the end of Q2. So and everybody reporting Q2 numbers, but uh, the Apple fiscal year uh, accounting wise is ending uh, on another month. So that's why they already technically speaking and fiscally speaking in the third quarter. So that's why it just called 2019 quarter three earnings. So nothing major about that. And as you know from my other video, uh, I said that the service department and the servings revenue and the growth of the same will be very, very, very important. So we will uh, have a close look into that when we review the Q3 numbers. So let's dive into it. Q3 earnings, the EPS, so earnings per share, was uh, $2.18 uh, versus $2.10 estimated, so uh, a bit over there. So they make more earnings than the market expected. The revenue is uh, also more, uh, not that much, about 1%, but still it's, uh, it's a good number. It's around uh, 53.8 billion made versus 53.39 billion expected expected and uh, Q4 guidance so the next quarter guidance is actually really really good so Apple expect the revenue growth that the market didn't expect so this is also one reason why the stock went up after the earnings uh, we have here uh, the earning guidance from uh, 61 to 64 billion dollars that's a ridiculous numbers this reminds me of the ridiculous numbers of Amazon and uh, the market just expected just below over 61 so the market expected 61 billion but actually this is the minimum that uh, Apple think they will make next quarter so really really good the iPhone revenue as expected uh, d uh, went down they selling less and less iPhones you know they uh, sold uh, 50 25.99 billion dollars of iPhone versus 26.31 expected and the server service revenue which i think it's very important here 11.46 billion made versus 11.61 expected so a little bit less than expected which is i think a little bit negative but let's dive into the rest of the earnings because there's some very very interesting facts here uh, they overall it's a record revenue uh, quarter they made never so much money Apple, you know, Apple is really, yeah, they make 1% more revenue uh, than uh, than a year ago. Uh, this seems not much. Uh, if we see like Facebook, Amazon, they are growing like 10 to 30% per year. But uh, Apple in this size and in this business is really, really uh, more stable than the, you know, only software business they are heading to. Uh, and uh, actually, if you're looking into Apple, Apple is really, 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 really a cash machine they are made more cash than amazon and facebook together they have so much cash that they bought 17 billion dollars worth of own stocks uh, um, back to the company and uh, they put uh, 3.6 billion dollars back to the uh, shareholders in form of dividend this is you know mind-blowing numbers 
uh, really, really good. You know, the Apple iPhone revenue was lower than the, the analysts expected around 12%, uh, but uh, a very good uh, reason now um, you have seen the growth of revenue was 1% higher, but the, the, the actually amount of iPhone sales or iPhone revenue, according to this big number of, uh, of revenue is just uh, for under 50%. So less than 50% is made by the iPhone. And this is really good for this company because it's not so dependent on the iPhone anymore with time and uh, build up the other uh, service departments and so on and so forth. So uh, variables was really, really big. So that means AirPods was very big. Uh, the, the other wearables like Beats, uh, the iPhone uh, Apple Watch uh, was uh, was really good, so uh, we already see here uh, huge potentials in the wearable. You know, also I think also when you compare the uh, wearables with uh, Internet of Things, and you know every of the small gadgets will have internet and can communicate and so on, and will have uh, medical detective uh, the uh, function and features. I think this can be very very big. Um, you know, imagine the AirPods not only uh, uh, bringing music to your ear, but also information or, or Google something, you know, without having your phone with you or, you know, connected with the internet, you can ask uh, Siri everything you need to know. So that can be very, very strong in the future, as well as, you know, measuring through your ear, your, your temperature all the time and so on and so forth. So I think it's, uh, it's really um, potential. I would like to uh, show you guys why the service area is so important for Apple. If we're looking into the margins, the service margins, yeah? So the most important division, in my opinion, for Apple in the future is 64% margin because they are software margins, you know? Software margins are always uh, huge and they are great and, you know, it's super, super, super uh, fantastic. And um, Tim Cook on the earnings call that I listened to, he actually said, if you if you're taking the revenues of service and wearables, it's a revenue that uh, other Fortune 500 companies do, so big companies do, and they just made it in two divisions uh, without uh, taking other uh, divisions into consideration. So you see how big Apple and their upcoming divisions are so very very potential he also said that you know um, they saw a less decline in china they had a huge decline of 22 percent uh, before in china that uh, dropped uh, and improved to only eight percent which is very very good because china is such a big market you know with the upcoming middle uh, shift that you know uh, like quality products as well and apple uh, just makes such a nice uh, product so very important for apple as well to be uh, to be uh, better in this area of the world uh, even though there's uh, you know uh, the trade war and uh, people thought maybe maybe the Chinese will not buy the products anymore but this is actually not the case Tim Cook uh, just uh, confirmed it to the shareholders and now comes a very very big part for the hardware for Apple so actually you know there was this uh, this uh, lawsuit against uh, against uh, Qualcomm and Qualcomm sued Apple and so on. Qualcomm is uh, one of the main manufacturers of components for the 5G, which will be very, very important and the fast internet on phones and uh, future devices. And Apple leaks a little bit behind because, you know, they had this uh, little bit, uh, yeah, law problems with Qualcomm. So they actually purchased a division, the modern division of Intel with all its stuff and uh, know-how patents and so on for $1 billion, the biggest acquisition in terms of uh, dollars as well as uh, ever as in stuff. So they get really, really good uh, know-how from Intel. Intel wanted to, you know, keep the 5G out because they have all these other things going on. So Apple just bought it, you know, to hold and be on top of 5G because they need to implement this as soon as possible uh, to not uh, lose the race against Samsung, Huawei and all the other manufacturers that, you know, starting to put this in their devices already. And uh, let's move into the stock and conclusion. So my conclusion on the numbers are that uh, these are very, very strong numbers. I think it's uh, showing that Apple is a very stable company. 
I uh, love Apple for its products and services as well. Very, very top notch, very uh, premium, you know. So I think it's good numbers. Service was a little bit under my own expectation as well, but they did uh, otherwise very good at wearables uh, for that. So let's say I give a pass to the earnings uh, numbers here and I also to the decline or, or less than my expectation or the market expectation as well on the service department. I think they will grow very rapidly also with the new services coming up like uh, the um, credit card as well as the TV uh, service, uh, Apple Plus and so on and so forth. So I think I'm not so worried. I think that's a great value company, you know, uh, bringing a lot of, lot of value for the shareholders. A very interesting stock. And uh, so I would love to uh, have a look, a quick look into the stock. So actually as of today, as of this recording, $944 billion of market value. One of the most valued companies in the world, of course, uh, PE ratio still cheap on the measures of what uh, other companies in this region are valued at so just 17.76 uh, uh, price uh, earnings ratio and uh, the dividend yield is still 1.48 percent uh, so it doesn't matter how the stock perform if you have an apple stock they are paying you 1.48 percent on your money and uh, the PS ratio, which I love as, a, as a, uh, one of the metrics to value companies is just under four. So also here, very acceptable and very good for the size of the company. So enjoy my videos and don't forget the grass is greener on the other side.